Hey everyone, and in today's video we're going into bad dropshipping store examples and what you need to do so that you can make sales online today. Let's go! Hey guys, it's Ricky Hayes here from Shopify Dropshipping Lifestyle and as I said in the intro, we're going into Shopify store reviews to help you get sales because these are examples of what you shouldn't be doing. Now, <laughs> don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updates straight away, okay guys? Um, and comment down below if you did like today's video, really trying to do it. Also, I will be providing a winning product somewhere throughout this video. <laughs> That was lame. And so make sure to watch the whole thing. You're gonna get a lot of value from this video. Now, before we do get into it, you're probably wondering why I'm wearing sunglasses. Now, believe it or not, I do actually go outside. I'm not a huge fan of sunglasses, I will admit. Um, uh, I got these from Big W, which is an Australian uh, large company. But I think I look pretty cool, don't you? I look cool, cool, yep. We've come to that consensus. Comment down below if you think I'm cool with sunnies. And if your answer is no, back off. Because I'm cool. So anyway, I actually need my glasses so I can actually read. All right, here we go. So, this store. Ask yourself, why do you think people wouldn't be buying from this store? Okay, the first thing I see is the fact that the price is in a foreign currency. Now, I have no idea whose currency that is. That's definitely not Australian, okay? <laughs> that's, that's not Australian. Uh, so that's a big no, okay? So if, uh, if you're drop shipping, make sure your currency converts. So either if you're using a paid theme, a lot of them have it in paid themes, it will dynamically update via geolocation, or you can use an app like Best Currency Converter. I recommend Best Currency Converter because it's a really good app, it's only 10 bucks a month, okay? Um, now, plus a surprise gift in every order, they're trying to increase that. I don't recommend that. Um, I don't recommend that at all. Um, now, they're, they're marketing this wrong. Do not do this and cash on delivery. This is to most likely third world countries. Um, okay, don't do that. So that's kind of bad. Um, make an actual sort of logo, okay? All right. Um, now, one thing I noticed, because I was just testing this out, when I went to Add to Cart, it does that, and it goes check out, and you must agree to the terms. What, what does that mean? Okay, and uh, then you're taken straight to the checkout, presumably. Yeah. And they haven't optimized it at all. Okay, guys, so there's a... I have plenty of videos on it. They've changed it to next. Okay. Um, but if we go back, right? If we go back, other parts that are not the description admittedly is good okay it sort of outlines it most likely it's just copy and paste from someone else they've got this related item don't use this this beekeeping thing people are over it this timer from beekeeping also looks kind of crap um just don't use them really um but down the bottom here and <laughs> i noticed this before the video actually so they got contact us which yeah, uh, anyway, they don't, you need to have your policies here, okay, guys? It's actually really important. Facebook and Google will actually lock you down if you don't have your policies there. Just copy your policies into a page, put your page into your navigation menu, and there you go. You got them. Refund policy, uh, refund policy, privacy policy, and terms of service at minimum, okay? Other reasons they're not going to get sales is where's tracking, okay? There's no information about uh, to track your order, about us, and FAQ. Those pages do help with your conversions dramatically, okay, guys? Um, that It's a thing that I see. It's a very simple thing that only takes an extra 10 minutes that I see happen all the time, all right? Um, and if, anyone, if you watch my videos, you'll see me talk about it time and time again. You need those policies, okay, guys? You will actually get banned. You can actually get banned for that because it's really important for the integrity of, of uh, Facebook as well as Google or any marketing platform where they're helping you to drive traffic, that they actually drive traffic to websites that are actually going to do a good job because it's going to piss off the people and they're going to lose actual people on their platform. Now, <laughs> look at this though. If you need to contact us with questions, feedback, or testimonial, feedback, testimonial, 
questions, feedback, testimony, I presume it should be an S. Anyway, or a suggestion, please email, please send an email to support, some reason that's in caps, at the shoppywise.com. So why would they send that as a testimonial? That's so stupid. What you need to do is you use back-end automation for that in a far more intelligent way. Okay, so the other part, as I said, is, I don't, what's this mean? Plus a surprise gift? You gotta tell them what that gift is, okay? Don't do not do that. And the big one is your currency. People are just gonna be like, oh. Okay, if you see that right, and most likely if you're an American watching this, uh, I would know a number of people like, ah, scam, scam! Because that's all the greatest fad nowadays. All right, so that's one store. So you can just see a few little things from that. Make sure to add your policies, that's simple. This one, I absolutely hate the color scheme. I hate it. Oh my god. It's disgusting. Okay, at least this one, remember, you got to use black and white. Okay, don't change the standards. It's just black and white. It's it's the simplest and it's the most effective. A white background with black text works 99% of the time for Shopify stores so well. This is trying to differentiate itself in a really bad way. Okay, uh, don't use this. It just it just sticks out really poorly, okay? Um, you definitely want to just stick to the black and white. Use the Brooklyn theme. You know, this is the Brooklyn theme. Um, so that's fine. So they got the policies here. They don't have a um, tracking page. We're here to help make sure your shopping experience, email, support available. Okay, so I presume that means contact us. They should have put their email in there. Um, if we go back, so if we have a look at all products, Okay, so if we have a look here, I'm not going bald by the way, just got an itchy head. Um, Alright, so this dynamic thing, don't do it. It screws up your actual checkout process to be able to do upsells. Okay, so not only is it means that if you are getting sales, it's going to hurt your conversions, but I just don't, don't use it. I found issues with it. So just go to add to cart. Again, you want it colored in fully. The color scheme is just it's really distracting for me. See how it's like blue there, and then it's black, and then it's blue, and then this, whatever the fuck color that is. Disgusting. Okay, it's just it's disgusting. I, I don't know, that was the first thing that struck me, and that's why I wanted to bring up this one. Like, like they do have the policies, the FAQs, contact us, the shop, they could put more effort into their collection. If we again go add to cart, they should be trying to do upsells, in uh, post, sorry, in cart upsells. They're not doing any of that um, at all. So taxes and shipping calculated at checkout. This store looks like a small store. They should be taking out the fact that they are, aren't most likely paying taxes, unless they are, but I presume they're not paying taxes. Um, and just say, uh, you know, they should be doing free shipping, okay? They're a small, small store. They should be doing free shipping. I don't know what that was, but it sounds like someone was mad in the background. All right, so if we go check out again, another reason, although minor, right, although minor, is they got a logo here. Literally go to your checkout and put your goddamn logo there. It's, it's literally drag and drop. It can't be any easier. <clears throat> all right, guys? Um, and also there's the conversion pirate checkout hack. That's all you need to do. Um, and you can subscribe for discounts and to keep update. Uh, and to keep up on our latest offers. So, you know, they could change that wording to subscribe um, to receive uh, exclusive discounts and offers uh, daily or something like that. Let's say just off the top of my head. Just sounds nicer, okay? But as a whole, this website just, it just doesn't look nice. Do you agree? Would you agree? You know, just with the color scheme, how it just doesn't have anything that really is just draws me in nothing about it is just drawing me into this website it just really is off-putting okay um all right and then there's this one so this um i don't know why you'd have the currency conversion there for starters um made no sense to me the thing with the people and logos put it, if you've got a small logo put them in the middle okay it just i know it'll optimize better on mobile but put it in the middle okay just, now you can see here like what's with this uh, you can just sort of I just don't like that. I do like how they got the trust logo trust badge 
What's with the share? I can't click it. Right. Okay. People look at that and it just looks crap. That should not be in grey. It should actually be in colour, I should say. Because it just... People... The colour is also associated with each of these brands. These brands have built their brand with also colour in mind. It's really important. All right. Make sure you have that. Another thing, this website, again, doesn't have the policy. So you should have about us, FAQs, contact us, track order up the top there. People see that. It's the things they want to see. Is they want to see who you are. They want to see how to contact you. They want to see how they can track their order. Because e-commerce, one of the biggest factors is shipping. Okay, guys? So it's really important. They have reviews widget, which is good. But again, look, no effort put into this um, footer at all. They say it's the menu. It's the footer. Okay, you don't need menu there. So you put, um, they got FAQ shipping and tracking, uh, sorry, security and shipping. Uh, they should have um, track order, about us, contact us, refund, terms of service, um, privacy. That all needs to be there, okay, guys? And again, just the whole black and white. Just make the text black and keep the, uh, the footer section white. Right, guys? There's... Not a huge amount to it. If we go to the home page, right, I'm pretty sure this is venture. Yeah, so they've, uh, you know, they're obviously trying to sell general items, um, home and garden. I don't know, is that meant to be a tent? <laughs> what? It almost looks like a mountain with a tunnel to me, or a broken triangle, a corn chip. That's what that, that is. That's a corn chip. All right, guys, we've defined that outdoor is represented by a corn chip. Um, anyway, so you can see how they haven't put any effort into their homepage either. Um, and that's meant to be just someone surfing, which looks stupid. Um, oh, ride the wave. Okay. For those who dare to jump in head first. <laughs> okay. Have it your way. All right, so um, again, we can see how I see the color contrast. Just the reason that white works so well too is, is that it works with PNGs and JPEG files. It just looks cleaner and more crisp. Just always just go white, right? And this is a big reason. Um, they got the checkout, all right? Where do you, does it automatically update? Okay, it does automatically update. Again, no currency converter if you are marking the US. This will be fine, but outside of that, this is going to seriously hurt conversions. Again, the footer, the, the header, you know, we go check out. What is that? Like, there's no point in even having the logo. What they need to do is they need to uh, get their logo and just enlarge it times by 10 and then put it back there because that is, I would argue, many ways worse than just having the plain text because how can you read that? You can't, all right? So you can see how the difference between stores that have put a bit of effort in and stores that have it. And it really doesn't take much. I have plenty of videos on all the apps, um, the back end setup, but this is just from face value, okay guys? I just found this from Facebook. Um, I just found all of these quite simply from Facebook. Obviously they've got their pixel installed, um, which is good. But you can see how just these back-end changes are just so important. We need, you need to have a black and white background. You know, the, the add to cart button, okay, is good in this case, although I'd try and make it green, especially for general stores, green. This is most likely their top winning product because they put the most effort into it by the looks of it. Um, but I don't need to go into a great deal to say, you know, that this website just doesn't do anything for you. It's... If you look at a website and you think, yeah, this doesn't do much for me, then it's likely that other people are the same. There's not a huge amount to it. I will admit, the homepage is not the end of the world, okay, guys? Because you're going to be marketing to a home, except that corn chip. Because you are, uh, oh, God. Because you are marketing to specific product pages or collections, most likely most of us doing it straight to product page, then, um, you know, it's not going to be the end of the world, right? So... You know, like, this is a... Ah, this one. Stolen my, win, my winning product from ages ago. So, 
yeah, you can see they've imported reviews. So they've done a little bit of effort on some, but not for the most part, they can do a lot more, right? And um, always make sure, right, when you're marketing to, what, what's that? For? Make it so they're most likely doing 50% off on their marketing. Make it so that it's actually, what is it? Uh, six cents lower than that. So twenty seven ninety three, right? Because people will pick up on that because that's so blatantly obvious. Twenty eight dollars, but that's fifty cent off. Little things like that do put people off. Trust me, people are so now dubious um, of uh, scams and stuff like that because people have been burnt so much that little things like that do make such a big difference. Believe it or not, as ludicrous and stupid as it sounds, it makes a difference. All right, guys. So that's it pretty much from this one. So if, actually, we'll go onto my Facebook and we'll do a little treat. This is my uh, secondary Facebook. Oh, look at the doggy. God, I love dogs. Anyway, so if I put in something like here, like I was just doing before, so um, now let's have a look quickly at some examples of good ones live. Get yours here. All right, you just get yours here, very broad term. We're gonna come up with ones that have millions to hundreds of thousands of, um, of views. So if we have a look at this one, Sorry about the audio, no good. All right, so if we go here, let's have a look at this website. In theory, this website should be fine. Okay, this is, okay, that's not a Shopify store. They're just doing a shout out there. All right, bad example, bad example. How about this one? I've seen this a million times. Uh, all right, this is definitely, should be, well, I'm confident should be a uh, Shopify store. When it loads, is it going to load? Is this website shut down? Okay. I think it's shut down. <laughs> Another bad example. Oh, no. Right, there we go. Okay, so first thing, right, is this website's probably gotten sales, but that load time is pathetic. <laughs> okay. Another important thing is your load times. That took, what, six, seven seconds? Okay, most people are going to have left by then. There you go, three quarters of your sales already. All right, so they've got color schemes going on here. They've um, gotten a number of pictures of the various versions, variants, sorry, um, guaranteed. You can see how this is, for what it's worth, a much better setup. This is an AliExpress product. I remember those images vividly. Um, they've just stolen it from um, competitors. They've got related products. They've just imported reviews using um, probably like Ali reviews. One review app, I can't remember. You can see how at least at the bottom they have their about us FAQ, shipping, refund, privacy, terms of service, track order. Okay, guys, that's it. That's all you need to do. And if we go, I don't know what they're using for that. So see how you got shipping, you know, like, and they put that in there. And then if you go track order, are they using Aftership? No, they're using some third party other app, okay? They even got a blog, uh, which they only just did about a month ago, okay? Um, and uh, but you can see how they've got it, it is a nice looking website they need to update that it's past Black Friday so I'm just going to add that in but you can see how it's also converted to Australian currency alright um, if we go this one and let's add to cart okay so they've got in cart upsells sorry um, but that's not an in cart upsell is really one above it because it's in their face alright guys but you can see how this looks nice. They've got they've got a security badge here again to say secure checkout, continue shopping. It's got the checkout, the green button to really sort of emphasize on go. And if we have a look at their actual um, checkout. Now, hold on. This is a Shopify store, right? Unless it's not a Shopify store. Maybe. Because uh, unless that's a third party checkout, I don't know what that is. Hmm. That's unique. It must be a third party app. Anyway, so you can see how there's that one. Um, and lastly, let's find one more. A moving alarm clock. That's caught my attention. Um, or, oh, Blue Crate, okay. So Blue Crate, if none of you know, is one of the biggest um, general dropshipping stores. They mainly do influencer marketing. Um, now they do have the buy now, but again, I just don't use it. I don't know why uh, they do, but they do. Um, you can see how they've they've got their reviews rating up the top there. They've got the related items, but I, where is their actual reviews? Right. 
Okay, so you, you know you click this and you see the order history. Okay, and that that's social proof. But I, on a personal basis, think you know you need to see the reviews, not just the purchases. Okay, because people think well anyone can do that. I want to see text of of this and that. Okay, but for what it's worth, they got the contact us. They got the <clears throat> the carousels. They got fifty thousand plus customers. They got affiliates. All this. For what it's worth, these are examples of stores to use as reference, okay guys? Um, that you can use to help you uh, to make your Shopify store better. And it doesn't take much, you just need to use a little bit of Facebook research, not just for product finding, but for idea generation. It's like how I stole the idea for this video from someone else, I don't care. Um, so you can see how they haven't done much to their checkout though. See, and this is why Blue Crate's one of the biggest ones, but uh, on a personal basis, I just don't think they do that great of a job. Um, so that's probably a bad example too, I'm just being honest. Alright guys, but that's pretty much it from today's video um, as well. Um, I am going to be adding a winning product. So let's let's find a winning product. So these are all sort of winning products. But let's have a look on AliExpress as well. Alright, so... This, okay, this <laughs> made me laugh, okay, for starters. Um, again, another Blue Crate product. Now, what is it called? Okay, and you can see how they're using affiliate marketing as well, but that's irrelevant, that's just me being me. So it's called Tidy Tuck. Okay, I don't know how to find that on AliExpress, so I'm just going to put in Tidy Tuck. Tidy Tuck. I don't think that's... Oh, yes, there we go. I was not expecting that. Uh, that's funny. So anyway, we can see here that this is, uh, if we, whenever you try and find a product again, and I'll be reinforcing this in future videos, is you want to go by orders, okay? Because you want to see the orders. Okay, so we can see here it's got a, a good number of orders. Um, and if we have a look, it's got a 4.8 um, star review, which is just an indicator of 1,500 orders. 200 votes, which is uh, 4.8 is pretty much a 5 to me because you're never going to get 100%, right? It's got images. It's got easy to use images you can put on your website. You can make a carousel uh, creative or you can make an actual video creative using a number of these images. Um, I'd emphasize on the bulge. I'm joking. But anyway, um, but one thing that you can see here, it's got about 96.5% feedback for this store. Just be a bit dubious. Anything over 95%, I consider fine. Um, anything beneath that, uh, just just be wary, okay? So you want to look for that. We can see it's got a number of sales. We can, if we go back here, I mean, I know they're using influencer marketing. I actually need these. So you can see how uh, people are saying they need it, okay? So save going to the laboratory. Is that toilet? Ah, yeah, laboratory is an American word, I believe. So any Americans out there, please correct me. But did you notice the difference in the way he reached for the wine the first time? Blah, blah, blah. Okay, anyway. So some of these comments are always stupid. Um, but you can see how that we can see that people are engaged in it. We can see how people want it. We can see how this solves a problem. Okay, so it solves a problem, right, for men, surprisingly. Men do have problems, plenty of them. Um, and, uh, you know, it, it's it's for men that are, are most likely businessmen. Now, I'm meant to be a businessman, but apparently I dress like a slob. Um, but uh, this would work for well for men that are businessmen. So into business magazines, okay? Business magazines, fashion, men's um, upper class, I guess, fashion, suits, like suit companies, suit brands. Like suits? Was I saying soup? I meant suits. It's, yeah, anyway, suits um, into suits and, you know, tuxedos and that type of fashion. So just look up on Google um, men's suit brands, uh, men's fashion magazines. Men that are into that type of stuff will be heavily into this. Businessmen, obviously, like just think of like Forbes magazine or something. That's a business magazine and men that are into that magazine are likely to be men that are very interested in their you know, out, outward appearance, right? Um, so it's very important to them on a professional basis. All right, guys, so that's, that's pretty much the winning product. It's pretty easy. 
Um, I found that just simply by typing in get yours here. Heaps of ideas, guys. Heaps. Look at this. These are all winning products, and I'm going to be doing more and more and more and discussing them in future videos. All right, guys. So if you did like today's video, hit that like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Comment down below if you did like today's video, guys. And also comment, do you like my sunnies? They cost 25 bucks if I... And, uh, yeah, I think they're good. I think they're really cool. I'll be taking more pictures with them because I actually... I, I'm, yeah, I'm just used to wearing glasses. But anyway, enough about that crap. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you.